This is the Land Warfare Centre at Canungra. Uh, it's an Australian Army base and has been since the 1940s. It's one of the principal training bases that the Australian Army has for the development of uh, leadership uh, amongst its ranks. And the Gold Coast Suns have come out to join us today uh, in an effort to work on some aspects of the leadership uh, among players, certainly start a journey on developing that, and also uh, do a little bit of muscle toughening and a little bit of uh, uh, group bonding uh, through some of the activities that we have available in our facilities here. Look, I think uh, the, there are very strong links between leadership and professional athletes these days. We demand a lot of our professional athletes, whether they like it or not, and as a consequence, our, our athletes these days are leaders. They're expected to lead, they're expected to set examples. To that end, it's really important that young athletes understand exactly what leadership's all about, how to, how to display it, how to exercise it, how to practice it. You know, there's some key core elements we wanted to achieve over the three days, but the but the day here at Canunga is obviously a bit more work for the players, um, so we wanted to put them in some, I suppose, some challenging environments and some and some physical challenges. They were able to think their way through it, but uh, I suppose the main focus out of that was to, was some leadership. Hopefully, some players could uh, obviously stand up and give direction to each other, and um, and and the other one was teamwork, be able to work together as a team. So it's not a matter who's quickest or fastest, but it's a matter of uh, working together with each other and getting one through. Well, we gave them the example of the Army's core values and how that relates to the kind of leadership that we want Army officers and senior NCOs uh, and Army members in general to be able to display. And those core values, that core values of courage, initiative, respect and teamwork uh, are pretty much central to the way that Army does business all around. We believe those are things that can be shared with uh, other people. And a club like uh, Gold Coast that is very intent on making sure that its people are well prepared for every situation I think can take a lot from those values and if they're looking to uh, develop their players as good leaders then understanding those values and being able to interpret those or others uh, to the way that they want to apply leadership through their players is really important. The obstacle course is a, a particular favourite here at the Land Warfare Centre. It's around about 600 metres long and has 28 obstacles. It involves a lot of water, a lot of barbed wire, a lot of uh, height, a lot of discomfort for people. But those are the things that help build character and build leadership. Some of those challenges, the physical demands that are involved in those, are really important to being able to use that as a tool for developing even the most basic aspects of leadership. I see you like seeing how players cope when they struggle. Uh, or how people cope with those struggles. So the one who wins everything and is in front of them, I'm not really too fussed about that. I'm, I mean, obviously they show some mental strength doing that, but ones who have got a fear, and I suppose the confidence course went through today at Canungra, there's a few players with fear of water and they've got to crawl through tunnels and there's a whole range of different uh, things confronting them, but a few players were able to overcome their, overcome their fears. Um, a few struggled a bit, but I think it was pleasing that they, you know, their teammates were able to stop and help them. Well, it's come to an army base, you certainly, and to do this sort of thing, you certainly expect a, what might be considered a complete army experience, and I think the guys have gotten that. Uh, but I think they've handled it very, very well. Uh, they're, a great, they're a bunch of guys with a great sense of humour, but most importantly, they've shown tremendous commitment today, and uh, it's been very pleasing from our perspective. Yeah, I, I think it's. I think as a club, you know, you know, we preach all in together, and that's just not. And that's not. That's not just within the footy department. I think it's a whole club. I think uh, obviously, obviously a community-based club, and uh, but I think having whether it's the CEO is here and his exec team, whether it's the bootstrapper, whoever it may be, I think I think we're on the same page. We're all in for the same reason, and it's a great feeling of everyone involved. out on behalf of the uh, all of us here at the club I just want to again thank the colonel for I guess allowing us into his facility I mean what a great facility it is
uh, for us to get access to and, and for making available all the people here who uh, did an outstanding job. So I uh, really appreciate that opportunity for us as a club to come and spend time here today.